I know that by now you must be very, very tired of hearing about Notion and to be real, I'm also tired of talking about Notion as well. So like for three years, I've only been condensing all of my productivity advice into a few other apps and I really want to start broadening my scope to other things. So today I have five productivity apps that probably you haven't heard about before and I want to show you the main key features behind each one of them. Okay, and beware, I'm using like a broad term for productivity. I'm not only going to talk about to-do and calendar apps, I also want to mention things like mental health slash productivity apps, as well as knowledge building apps. I want to keep this video short and sweet so it's not too technical, but if you want to really explore a more in-depth analysis of each one of the apps, I always provide a companion link in my Patreon for all videos published on YouTube, so you can check that down below. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with number one. So Sorted is a full-fledged productivity app that combines tasks, calendar, events, and notes into one timeline only. This timeline is the core of this app's uniqueness. It's not only a calendar or a to-do list, it's a way to organize tasks, events, and meetings in a structured way, showing you exactly what goes after what. Sorted uses what they call hyper-scheduling, which is basically a fancy calendar blocking technique at its core. So you can incorporate tasks, events, and meetings into one timeline only, while also providing that timeline with enough flexibility. That means that if something goes wrong, you can modify the timeline accordingly, and it recalculates the whole thing all over again. Then you're also able to add notes for each one of the specific tasks, like takeaways from meetings or webinars, and everything is very intuitive, so you can select multiple tasks and reschedule them simultaneously, or simply click and drag them to reschedule them to a different day in your calendar. It all feels very satisfying too, so not forget you can always create subtasks, folders, and different lists. You can also tag your tasks and to top it all off, add a beautiful widget to your home screen so you can be productive on the go. And auto-scheduling is a particularly good feature because you can even tell the app you want to add buffers between tasks, for instance, and it organizes everything like a personal assistant. It's just that good. DeepStash is a knowledge-building app that allows you to discover and share ideas in a bite-sized format. You basically get these cards in your feed that are ideas, quotes, or knowledge bits from books, articles, or other types of media. Each idea connects to other ideas, much like a knowledge tree, and you're able to save them to your own library. Each card is short and stands on its own, so you do get a lot of value from swiping through DeepStash when feeling uninspired or unmotivated. Think of it as social media for knowledge, for instance. You can share ideas and information rather than pictures or videos, and you're able to source all cards accordingly, organize them and reshare them as needed. It's incredible how much information you can go through in small sessions, and it's a great app to get if you want to consume content that is valuable and useful. Minimal is a writing app that has a well, minimal aesthetic, and it allows you to focus on what really matters, to take your notes individually, or in collaboration with other teammates. It has a particularly unique feature called Note Lifetime, and that means that with Minimal, you can let your notes die. So basically, the app auto-deletes any notes that are inactive for a while to give you that ever-fresh new notebook feeling. Of course, this is a feature that you can disable if this causes you stress, and you can also retrieve dead notes and fully restore them as needed. The idea here is to practice non-attachment, even with digital information, Instead of having a cluttered note-taking app, you're only keeping what's essential and being more open-minded. You can also organize projects and to-do lists within the app and synchronize it with your calendar as well as click and drag notes to reorder them and customize pretty much anything within the app. And of course, all your notes can be neatly organized within folders and through tags. There is also a solid search function and then you can export everything via PDF in case you want to print something from the app. Timo is a visual daily planner that allows you to create a visual schedule, and then it reminds you of that schedule throughout the day. Much like Sorted, it also operates with a time-blocking logic, showing you what you should be doing at each given time, supporting reminders and checklist features, and a strong visual component with color coding and icons. Timo also has a timer, having a specific view for task in progress, where you are able to see the subtasks you should be working on, as well as any other important details. You can check these subtasks as you go and finally check the main task completed for the day. 
The improvement here is that you're able to use the timer view during progress, but then you're able to look at other scheduled tasks and events and start tackling them too, which allows you to pre-plan everything ahead and organize assignments and to-dos on the go. Overall, it's simple to use, but incredibly motivating, a perfect companion for studying. Stoic may not help you organize work and manage your time better per se, but it is an app that improves your productivity by improving your mental health too, reducing anxiety and grounding you for the day. It combines routines, health and motivation features in one app and was created to be used in the morning and evening at least, prompting you to answer some questions and performing exercises. The app brands itself as a daily self-care journal, and it includes daily reflections, writing prompts, for instance, when logging into the app, you can write affirmations, do an emotions check-in, add photos, and even take notes or journal freely. It also provides more than 100 exercises for breathing, journaling, and even walking meditation. The idea is to add insights about what influenced your mood, why you feel that way, and why you were or weren't productive. Tell me down below whether there's any kind of productivity app that you've tried out before and you think that not a lot of people know about, so I can also check it out and review it for you in the future. And if you're into productivity, studying, and motivation, I highly recommend you to check out my videos, Thomas Frank's videos, Ali Abdal videos on Nebula. Nebula is an ad-free streaming video platform built by independent creators, and it has a bunch of content on productivity, sciences, technology, history, and so much more. And if you're more into classic documentaries, the good news is your Nebula subscription automatically gives you access to CuriosityStream. And CuriosityStream has a big library of documentaries where you can learn so much more. For instance, you have a documentary called What is Reality? where neurologist David Eagleman reveals how our brains piece together reality and what we can do to expand our perception of the world around us. You also have documentaries on red pandas, rainbows, history and so much more. If this sounds interesting, and believe me it is, you can now access both platforms for a 42% discount and that makes it $11.59 a year. So to access the discount and become a part of the family, click the link down below to start learning today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!